Okay, conditional probability. So this is 5.7. Not as complicated as it sounds, to be honest with you. So let's just give a real life example um, for me to put down someone in the class. So who would I go for? Um, Lou Lover. Okay, so we're looking for the probability that um, Louis scores a championship game if he st starts. Okay, scores if he plays. Okay, so the probability that Louis s starts is 0 0.4 or 4 out of 10. The probability or scores probably that um, he plays is 0 0.3 okay we want to know the probability that Louis scores given that he starts okay there's a formula for this it's a probability of S N P and it's a probability of P on the bottom okay so the probability P is 0 0.3. Yeah, scores by a place. Okay? Now, I want to know the probability that uh, SNP. I need to find that out. Okay? That's, well, well, I, I would be given that, actually. So... Probably of S and P. So, sorry, I should have put that as S and P. That's 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4 over 0 0.3. Okay. So, that's so the probability he scores and he starts. So, it'd be way less because you can't have a probability higher than that. So, it'd be 0 0.1, let's say. Okay. And then you get an answer from that. That's a probability that Louis Lovett scores if he plays. Okay? Now, if I was to do a different one, let's say we've got a Venn diagram. I'll take the example four. Example four, we know that A is probably, whoops, probably if A is 0 0.7, probably B is. 0.4 Agreed I need to kind of find out what the middle section is if I know that the outside doesn't take an anything else. It's It's not that difficult to find out the middle section of probably a that's probably B But if the question gives me the probability of a given B is 0 0.3 the very first thing you should write down after that, probably of A given B. Go back to this formula. That means B goes on the bottom, probably B, and the probability of A intersection B, which is what we're going to be looking for. That's 0 0.3. The probability of B is 0 0.4, and that's probably of A intersection B. That's going to be 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.4, 0. 1, 2, so that's 0 0.12. Take that away from point there, that's 5, 8. Take that away from this, point 0.38, 0 0.28, sorry. And then we've got it there. All of that will add up, hopefully. Um, and yes, we've, we've got, then you're saying, well, what's the probability of outside here? Well, that's going to be 1 minus all of them. So that's going to be 0 0.7, 0 0.98, so 0 0.98, 0 0.02. And there's your answer. That's it sorted. Um, genuinely, for this, all you need to remember is the second you see probability of x given y. It's a probability of x and y all over the probability of y. That's the first thing you write down. Then... Anybody smart at this stage? I'm trying to teach you the process of learning here. The second one of these comes up, what do you have to be given? Two out of three of these. Always. 
you have to be given two out of three. If I've got this and this, I can work out this. If I've got this and this, I can work out this. If I've got this and this, I can work out this. Does that make sense to you? I really hope it does, but it's never harder than that. Like, is in really, really, really not. Um, so this is, this is the next important thing. You've got to pay attention for this. This work now is between Thursday and Wednesday. You've nearly got a full week. So here's my recommendations. Thursday, you do 5.7. You do a little bit on Friday as well. But Friday is also revision. Then, up until the weekend, Sunday, and I'll have this in a category, still revision. And then, Monday to Wednesday, Monday and Tuesday, it's revision. So, I'm going to have different groups, different days set up. So, Thursday and Friday is going to be one bunch. Saturday and Sunday is going to be another bunch. Monday, Tuesday is another bunch. You throw in your revision. Now, Unless you want to be joining uh, Daniel Chuck out there in ordinary, do your work, um, which will inevitably happen. And it's quite ironic because he's clearly not watching this. But there's a couple other guys, two other guys, that aren't doing as much work as I would want. So, can we follow for this, follow for this, follow for this. Recommendation is, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to recommend the same for Dylan as I am going to be for uh, a weaker student in the class. So you start with your core exercises. My advice, if you're good, get every single thing done and go back on all other stuff. If you're struggling, start with the easy stuff. Go back onto the previous chapters. I want to see work done. And then you should be doing 45 minutes a day. So 45 here, 45 here, 45 Saturday, Sunday, 45 here. So that's six hours work. Yep, my video, I'm generally getting a page done in five minutes while having to explain. So you can work at the maths on how many pages that is. Um, obviously, you've got to put in a bit of thought process, but I've had to put a bit of thought into making the video. Okay? So your next class, uh, the next topic is going to be on Wednesday. Okay? And that's probably done for this. And I'm not giving you past papers because wait till 6th year for that, for this topic.